hydrogen storage and transportation are still facing challenges. Um, what are the solutions that you see? Um, if we come to you first, Jose. Solutions to avoid this? Yes. In the transportation and storage? Well, essentially, I guess that Joel was providing one very good, that is uh, transforming the hydrogen and avoiding, I mean, there are different solutions. So I know that some companies are developing a solution based in converting the molecule of hydrogen in something that can be transported, not only in ammonia, but can be transported in using the, the regular fleet of, uh, let's say, oil industry and so on, and then can be, um, can be uh, let's say, transported from the point of view of safety and so on. It's not so complicated as maybe with the uh, liquid hydrogen and so on. And then the, this can be decomposed later in hydrogen, but then you need to have a supply chain that is specifically related to this. And then you are recovering uh, an organic product that you need to use and so on. So there are solutions to transport the hydrogen. So essentially, you can use uh, simple, ammonia or liquid hydrogen or then a uh, organic base uh, like a uh, uh, conversion or, 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 or the hydrogen in this and then uh, let's say a dissociation. Once say that the main problem is that uh, uh, I guess that uh, Today, everybody's thinking in high pipeline of hydrogen crossing the countries and so on. And like uh, you can replace immediately everything and then the natural gas can be replaced by hydrogen without taking in consideration a small thing like a burn, a small burners, heater, a safety valve, et cetera, et cetera. You need to take consideration about this. And it's not like this that you are able to say, OK, I can produce hydrogen, very low price, whatever. I, I, I put all the pipeline and so on and I'm supplying for everybody, even for heat uh, let's say district or whatever. So it's, it's not as simple as this. It's much more complicated. So personally, I, I guess that there is a lot of things around this. Some companies, some trading companies, and even some oil and gas companies that are uh, outside of Europe, they are trying to, to bring to, uh, to, uh, to Europe not green ammonia, but in some cases it's a, a low carbon or even gray ammonia to try to decarbonize and then they are trying to deal with different ports and so on to having their and storage and then doing the dissociation, following a little bit the trend that is uh, apparently some years ago was uh, or is still followed by the or proposed by the by the Japanese government. But uh, once say that, I think that, that this is the solution. I mean, I'm not an expert in the hydrogen transport, but I will say that essentially and probably Joel or, or Sebastian, they can correct me and provide more information. These are the, the things that you can do. So transporting in gas phase, I don't think so. Make no sense. Uh, I mean, big volumes and the other is really uh, converting this in something that can, can be transported in a not very costly and a safe way. That's all.